the Praise Report, a media ministry of Heartland Christian Center, many have been touched physically, spiritually, and emotionally while enjoying the program. And now, here's Pastor John. John DeLace, you're here, pastor of the Thriving Heartland Christian Center based out of Central Florida. We've been teaching a segment of programs 10 to 15 minutes long on different subjects called Things to Consider Before You Vote. Now, I call myself a conservative capitalist. My definition of that might be different than others. So let me narrow that down. I believe what the Bible says. I'll give you a scripture here. For even when, you were with, even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, either should they eat. That's in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. Now, I'm not talking about not helping the needy. I'm not talking about not helping somebody who's down and out. We do that. We do that. Any God-fearing person, let me tell you what. If you are a Christian, full of the Holy Spirit, you are not stingy. Boom, period. If you are stingy, you don't have the Holy Ghost. If you are a Christian, full of the Holy Spirit, you are not lazy. If you are lazy, you do not have the Holy Ghost because you're not a faith person and faith always has work to do. So if you're stingy or lazy, you won't. You won't like to come into this church. Because I believe that if you are a Christian and you have Holy Spirit, you want to help the needy, you want to help the poor, you are a giver, you are a tither, you give alms to the needy, you help the widow, you help the orphan. I know that. But there are people who make a living out of it. This is what I'm talking about. So those people who say, well, we are hard. We don't want to help the down and We want to help the down and outers. There's a story in the Bible where there was a man. He was lame for some 40 years, and he saw the apostle going to the temple. And when he saw the apostles come, he put his hand out or his basket out or his cup out. I was in the Holy Land, and I had to go to a tunnel to walk through it to get someplace. And in the tunnel, there was a man laying on a cot, and he had a cup in his hand. Who he sleeping? So people could go by and put my money in it. That was called slugger and slothful. I was driving down Route Colonial Road in Orlando by Powers or Pine Hills uh, uh, down that way. I saw a man, poor guy. He had a cast on his leg, a brace. All the way down, it was white and had straps on it. And he was there, and people felt sorry for him, giving him money. My curiosity arose, and I got watched him. I drove around the park, and he came back. He went into the alley, took off the cast, got on his bicycle, and went down to the next corner. I believe in helping the needy and helping the poor, but I don't believe in people who make a living out of playing with our emotions and taking advantage and using the system for selfish gain. I don't believe in that because that is stealing. When you have an ability to work and you have an ability to make a living, you have an ability to do good, and you're taking it away from somebody who is working hard and you cause you don't want to? I love the video I saw on Facebook about this lady went out and she was walking all hunched over with a thing on. And you know, did you see that one too? She was all hunched over. Oh yeah, this. they followed her. Oh, then she got in her fancy car, took off the clothes, and then she goes shopping in an expensive store. Those people are thieves. And if you're not careful, you're going to get breathe those kind of people. Not only that, you'll breathe this kind of people. I'm making more click than employment than I was working. Oh, and they're extending it for me. What a deal. Why should I go get a job? Why should I look so hard? I'll just pretend that I am. I'll just fill out these forms, look like I'm looking at a job. How about these people? 
I'm getting more benefits. I have a job. My job is making babies. I found out the more babies I make, the more tax write-offs I get, the more food stamps I get, the more benefits I have. That's my job. All the Bible says replenish the earth. When you open the door to people who think that they are entitled to it because they were born this color or that color or that race or this whatever. I was, I'm a, I'm an FBI. Some people are getting very nervous about that right now. Somebody tried to buy my hat, FBI. Jennifer said, no, it's a Pastor John's hat. It stands for full-blooded Italian. My grandparents on one side, my grandparents, they came from Italy. They did not have it easy when they were call, came over here. They were called WAPs. They were called guineas. They couldn't get a job. They started their own business and not the one you're thinking about. But that's why some did. If you go to Ellis Island there by the Statue of Liberty, you'll see both of my grandparents' names right on that wall. And they came here and they worked. And my grandfather got a horse and a buggy and a pick and a shovel and a rake and started a landscaping business. Oh, yeah, but, you know, it's, things have changed, Alessio. Americans don't want those kind of jobs no more. That's why we need the illegal people to come in and take those jobs. Because Americans, they want technology. They don't want to go to school for it. They don't want education for it. They don't want to pay for it. But they want the nice jobs. So we need the illegals to come in and take those jobs. because They want to do the laundry. They want to clean the hotels. They want to mop the floors. They want to cut the grass. Americans don't want those jobs. So what's wrong with that? Let me tell you what's wrong with that. I wonder, flip side, I wonder how many men and women had prosp landscaping businesses and they had hard working men and women working for them. But they no longer have that business because their competition hired illegal people and paid them whole hardly nothing, so they can't do the cleaning business no more. They can't do the landscaping business no more. They can't do the painting business and other people that, that you say Americans don't want those jobs. Don't tell me they don't want that. How many businesses went bankrupt because of it? Shazam. So here is the main reason now. Forget the money and all the things I just said. Put it in, on the back burner and think about this. When people are looking for entitlements and a man to take care of them, a government to take care of them, they start voting wrong for the wrong reasons, for the wrong motive, and now they're not giving God glory for their paycheck or for their job or the ability to do it. They're giving glory to the government that they curse under their breath. So my idea of capitalism is God gives me a dream, a vision, an opportunity, he blesses the works of my hand, the harder I work, the luckier I get. And the more I apply myself. And then I could look back and say, yeah, that was just a piece of canvas. God gave me the paint. And look at the beautiful picture. I mean, I don't even know what it means, but it sure looks good. And you can look back and feel good about who you are and realize I was created in the image and likeness of God. God gave me the talent. God gave me the ability. God gave me the canvas. God gave me the idea. God gave me the paint. And he gave me the grace to apply myself and look at what the Lord has done. And if you don't, you have a whole bunch of people getting lazy because it's cheaper, not it's more economic not to work and put the trust in the government. So if you got a majority of the people being supported by government entitlement benefit, how do you think they're going to vote? 
I'm still trying to get to the scripture, so it's going to continue on part six. Part six. <laughs> there's a lot to say about this. And yet there's people that don't watch the news. They don't want to care what the Bible says. They're just going to go to the polls and vote for this person because they're black, that person because they're white, that person because they're the female, that person because they're a male, that person because he did this or that. No. What does the Bible say? Let's be educated voters because America is slipping out of our hands. And they're going to take away our right to bear arms, our freedom of speech, God out of God bless America, prayer out of school, and we're going to become more and more like the country that God delivered us from. People want to know what happened to Iraq. Let me tell you what happened to Iraq. It was pretty well secure after the war. But we removed our protection. I'm going to give you a biblical perspective of this. Here's what the Bible says. When an unclean spirit leaveth, it goes seeking to dry and wilderness places looking for rest. If it doesn't find any, it's going to come back whence it came. If the house is empty and clean, it's going to come back with seven worse than itself. That's what happened to Iraq. That's how ISIS got created. And don't blame nobody but the right people or the wrong people. That's exactly what happened. There's a thief on the loose. He comes to kill, steal, cheat, and destroy. And anything not protected will be stolen. What about the right to bear arms? That's in the Bible, too. We'll talk about that in another video. I'm not mad or whatever. I believe there's a righteous indignation saying we have a country that God has blessed because more evangelists went out from this country to spread the gospel around the world. And God had his hand in this country because we said, God bless America. And we defended what the Bible said. We defended prayer in school. We defended the, uh, the definition of marriage. We defended the right to bear arms. We defended God bless America. We defended it, and now we don't. But you want God to still protect you? Well, brother, I'm okay because I don't believe there ain't no God anyway. I don't give a hoot what you believe in because you're going to find out different when your spirit leaves your body. We're out of time.